Hail and well met fellow travelers. Welcome to the Gatehouse of the Gizmonic Order. I'm your Grandmaster. I've had a few requests to sort of shorten the how to mod your Battletech game video down to something very digestible very quickly. So today I'm going to do how to mod your Battletech game in two minutes or less. So I want to put up a counter for two minutes and we're going to go through and I'm going to show you everything you need to do to mod your Battletech game. Okay, let's go. So the first thing you need to have are links to two primary websites. One is going to be GitHub. And that's where you're going to find mod tech. The link will be down below. The second will be Nexus mods. And that's where a lot of the mods live. Unless you're playing Rogue Tech, which will be via the link below, or Battletech Advanced, which will also be via a link below. When you go to GitHub, you're going to see on the right hand side is a set of releases. Those are what you're going to download to mod your Battletech game. The latest release is going to be the one that you're going to want to get. So grab that one, just click that link, and then you can click the modtech.zip file. That will download the modtech file to your computer. Once you unzip modtech, there's going to be a modtech folder, and then inside of that will be another modtech folder. That second modtech folder is what you're going to want to click and drag or copy to your Battletech mods folder. Once you have done that, double click the modtech injector.exe file. That will install modtech into your Battletech game. Now your game is ready to be modded. What you're going to want to do is go to Nexus Mods to grab a mod. They'll say that you're going to get the Community Asset Bundle, a very popular mod. Find the Community Asset Bundle. You need to make sure that you're logged in to Nexus Mods. So if you do not have an account, create one. Then come back. Now click on the Files tab, and you'll see that there's a manual download option available for the Community Asset Bundle. Click the Manual Download button, and you'll get this screen. Just go ahead and select Slow Download, and that will download the Community Asset Bundle to your computer, ready for install. Go ahead and double click the Community Asset Bundle executable that is in your Downloads folder. This will let you install the cab into your Battletech directory. Once you've verified your path is correct, go ahead and click Update Cab. That will install all the files for that mod. And that's it. That's how to mod Battletech in your computer in two minutes or less. See, wasn't that hard. If you're not sure where Battletech is installed on your computer, just open up your Steam library, right click on Battletech, select Manage, and then click on Browse Local Files. That will show you the path to your installation. You can click in the address bar and then just copy that whole path and then put that into the cab installer and then you can install. Now, if you're looking for anything else about any of the other mods that are available, that kind of stuff, I recommend highly checking out Nexus mods. They have a ton of Battletech quality of life improvements. They have flashpoints, which are sort of like campaigns and uh, quests for Battletech that you can add to your game. There's also some pretty heavy mods available for the game itself, including Broke Tech, which is a complete rebuild almost of the game a very different focus, a very different timeline. Rogue Tech is very much like a simulation. So if you're looking for something that's going to be a lot more challenging, but also a lot more like you were really living in the time and truly managing your mercenary company, Rogue Tech is probably the way to go. If you're looking for something a little less challenging, but still more challenging than the vanilla game, Battletech Advanced is also another great mod to do that. Again, links for both of those are below. Finally, there is a version called BEX, or the Battletech Extended Commanders Edition 3025, that was available on Nexus Mods, is no longer available on Nexus Mods, but I have posted it on a website. Link is below if you want to download that. It is more challenging than the vanilla game, but far less challenging than Battletech Advanced, and much, much less challenging than Rogue Tech. Have a great time with your modded version of Battletech. I hope you really enjoy the mods that you pick, and I hope that you are challenged appropriately. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click that like button below. And if you're interested in other Battletech content, please click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I post up new videos. Happy mecking, and thanks for watching.